Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. And today I am talking about something that is very passionate to me, and that is pageantry. And a lot of you know that's uh, something that is ingrained in me. It's become a passion, and I love everything that has to do with adult pageantry. Toddlers and tiaras are not my specialty. I have never participated in them, nor have I seen one live. I am talking about real pageantry that is for, I uh, will just say, eight and beyond. So I get asked a lot about this particular topic, not only from the girls who I um, mentor, but also the girls who I direct within the Miss America organization and a lot of the girls that I help get ready for the USA system. And the question is, what is the secret to winning a pageant? Now, this is obviously something that you uh, have to learn and gain along the way, um, but I think I have three things that you might be able to focus on that will help you get ready for your next pageant. So the first one is it, winning is all about confidence. And I know it sounds so cliche, but confidence is more than just being, being comfortable talking about yourself, which is also hard to do. Um, confidence when you are ready to participate in the pageant, no matter what kind it is, I don't care what system it is, you have to have confidence in yourself. And what does that mean? That means that you are not second guessing yourself. So that means if there's a swimsuit portion, you feel as ready as possible as you could have been, you're comfortable in your own skin. Wardrobe, everything down from uh, check-in to interview to on-stage question and even your evening gown and swimsuit, you are not second-guessing your wardrobe. You truly love it. It is part of you and it is an extension of your personality. No second-guessing your wardrobe. And even more so, the best way that I know I am confident in myself is making sure I'm healthy. I am not one to crash diet or uh, do crazy 24 hour detoxes and try to lose a bunch of weight before a pageant because I think it's gonna make me more confident in myself. I know that I have a deadline. So what is your deadline? When is your next pageant? What is your amount of time to prepare to feel healthy, even if there's a swimsuit version or not? If you have a swimsuit competition or health, you know, lifestyle and fitness within your competition, you're gonna wanna feel the best way, the best you can, totally. So how can you do that? Uh, I'd be happy to help you if you want some more tips and even programming to work out at home. You don't need a personal trainer. You don't need a gym membership. You can pretty much use anything in your house. I can help you. Drop your email below or raise your hand below and I'll contact you if you want help to learn how to work out at home to get ready for your next pageant. But overall, eating healthy, I'm not saying go on an extreme diet, but just you know, eat healthy and work out and feel good about yourself because that is going to make you more confident. Number two, you have to learn how to real smile. Now this is something that's really hard to teach someone because have you ever looked at a picture of yourself and you're like, nah, that's okay. But someone snaps a candid picture of you where you are having so much fun and it is the most real smile ever. That is what I'm talking about. And learning how to do that in interview and learning how to do that on stage is also gonna come off more confident and the judges are just gonna gravitate towards you and like you and they may not even know why. You have to learn how to smile for real. Now, what's the difference? That's, that's me smiling, right? But this is me real smiling. Because simply, I, I, I know that feeling inside of me when I'm smiling for real. I've also learned how to smile talk, which is hard to do, but it's because I truly enjoy talking about the things I'm passionate about. And I, when I'm on stage, I am having fun. And I am going to show the judges that I'm having fun. And you know what, if I am not confident and I'm not having fun, I'm gonna think of something that's funny so I know I'm actually having fun in that moment. I'm gonna look those judges in the eyes and show them the real smile. If I win this title, this is what I'm gonna look like to the people I'm interacting with. Learn how to real smile on stage, in interview, and in pictures. And number three, your paperwork has to be spot on. Now, you that's the first thing the judges get to see before they actually get to see you. Granted, they do get to see a headshot, that'll be another video, but they to get to know you, they're reading your paperwork. 
and then you step into that interview room. If you tell the judges everything there is to know about you, they're not gonna have anything to ask you, and then it's gonna become your worst nightmare and be all about politics and, um, and, and social issues that you really don't wanna talk about. You wanna talk about you and why you're the right girl for the job. That is what is most important. So make sure you get your paperwork in line. You want to bullet points, think brief. You want to you want to cast it out and hook them and then you reel them in when you're actually in the interview. So it has to be solid paperwork. You have to show all your true sides. If you're well-rounded, show that, but don't give them everything. Make sure you leave something to talk about and make sure you are setting your goals high. Uh, obviously, I think we all have five-year, ten-year goals. We'd like to be married, have a house, maybe some kids, love to start a career. Okay, this is 2017. Everybody has goals like that. Isn't that what we call the American dream? I am talking reach for the stars. If you win this title, that means you might win the next one and then the next one. And that means your dreams could come true. That means you might actually have a shot at dancing on a stage or singing on Broadway or being a host of that television show or having the top law firm in the country. Those are the things that I'm talking about. That they scare you because they excite you and they are actually something that's true to yourself. Set your goals high, show it in your paperwork, but don't tell the entire story in your paperwork. Guys, that's all I have for you. If you have any questions or want some comments below, comment below if you have a video you want me to touch base on uh, as far as how to get ready for your next pageant. I have a whole list that I will be doing over the next few months. I hope this helps you. And uh, holler with any questions. My email is missindianausa2014 at gmail.com. Uh, if you want health-related stuff, want to get help, get ready, help me, if you want me to help you get ready for your next pageant at home, also let me know below. You can email, email me at missmichaelafitness at gmail.com and I will find the right program for you. I'm getting ready for my next, pro, my next pageant with a few programs and they may work for you as well. Thanks guys, have a great day.